Well, good morning. It is now the month of May, Friday, May the 1st. Welcome to Wise Words from Waldo. Most people like stories about the underdog winning in the end. Stories about people who triumph in times of adversity. When the overwhelming favorite wins, yeah, we expect it. But we especially take notice when the one who seems to have no chance wins. I wonder why that is. Well, perhaps it's because we hate to see pride in someone who likes to display themselves. Or perhaps, perhaps it's because we know what it's like to go through tough times in life. And that person encourages us. William Cooper was born in 1731. He was the fourth child of a minister in Britain. His three older siblings died. And then his mother died while giving birth to the fifth child. He was six years old when his mother died. He was devastated. There seemed to be no signs of recovery in the boy. He was sent to a boarding school, but there he was terrorized by a bully. At the age of 10, he was sent to another school, this time having a much better experience. While he was there, he studied law, but he was never able to pass the bar exam, and it threw him back into depression. So much so that he tried to kill himself. Like most people in that century, because he attempted suicide, he was put in an asylum. But fortunately, it was run by a Christian doctor. And he recovered. And William became a child of God while he was reading Romans chapter 4 one day. It told him, that he was a sinner, and that the blood of Jesus was our propitiation, and it could cleanse him from his sin. And so, from the darkest days of intense depression, he went to a firm spiritual foundation of a new life in Christ. And he'd write a poem. A poem. You've heard the poem before. It'd later be set to music. Here's the poem. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. Out of tragedy came triumph. Out of depression came purpose. Out of despair came joy. Hmm. I've learned in observing others, and even in my own life, that the greater the odds are that are stacked against you, the greater your story will be. Someone is watching you how you will respond. You see, God loves to use the underdog. Now stop and think about that.